Hi everyone! So I thought it was time that I make some videos on picking up and handling guinea pigs um, as this is one of the most requested topics that I often get asked about. Um, people are always looking for tips and advice about picking up and handling and I'm actually going to split this into two videos. So this first one is all about the picking up side of things, actually lifting them up from wherever they are and the handling video is going to be more about when you're carrying them and uh, when you're sat with them, that kind of thing. So um, look out for that second video, it's probably only going to be a few days before it's up. Um, if it's up already by the time you're watching this one then there's going to be an annotation now and there's also going to be a link in the description for you. So picking up our guinea pigs can be one of the most challenging, daunting, scary even things to think about as a new owner or perhaps as someone that's owned guinea pigs for a while but they've always been quite skittish and um, you've not been able to kind of tame them as much as you wanted to or bond with them as much as you wanted to. So I hope this video will be useful for anyone watching. Um, so before I get on to the kind of tips and advice and before I show you some examples of me picking up my own guinea pigs, there's a few kind of key things to remember that are really important for um, learning how to pick up your guinea pigs and the first thing is to um, realise that as a general rule guinea pigs do not enjoy being picked up. Um, they are naturally prey animals so anything that's going to come down and swoop them into the air <laughs> they're going to go back to their natural instincts and they're going to kind of natural behaviours are going to take over so they are going to run away that they're not going to um, you know just sit there and let you pick them up. And the second thing to remember is that it is equally as as much about us as owners and people as it is about our guinea pigs so um, with time and with practice um, we might not even realize it but we will be learning subconsciously how to react to them and how to predict which way they're going to turn and we'll be able to make those quick uh, snap decisions um, when, when we're picking them up so the whole thing will be a lot easier and a lot less stressful. Um, if you've got guinea pigs um, hopefully you're kind of taking some steps to get them more tame so you might be um, um, encouraging them to come out of their hideys with vegetables, you might be reaching in and stroking them in the cage and you might have got to that point where you think that you're ready to have a go at picking them up and giving them some lap time. Um, lap time is really important for bonding and, and taming your guinea pigs. So um, it's a good idea when you're thinking about picking them up to spend a bit of time before um, as you would normally when you're kind of wanting to get them tamer sitting by the cage talking to them letting them know that you are there so that way you're not taking them completely by surprise and they're not going to be like shocked and run away just because they've been taken by surprise so a lot of my other tips are kind of things that I had to sit down and think about and think what do I do naturally when I'm going to pick up my guinea pigs and I actually managed to make a bit of a list of things, um, practical things that I do um, and I'm going to go over to the cage and show you some examples of picking up the guinea pigs which I hope will help you. So here are the guinea pigs, Sprite and Annie are relaxing in their hideys at the moment and this is a good time to say one of the tips which is um, when you're thinking about picking up your guinea pigs, wait until they're in a good position. Them being inside a hidey is not good. <laughs> Chances are, as soon as you lift up the hidey, especially if the young piggies are going to dash away, um, they're already going to be scared by that point, so picking them up is going to be a bit harder than it would normally if you just waited or ushered them into a, a more uh, easier to pick up position. Another thing is try not to interrupt them if they are feeding, if they're taking some pellets from the bowl or if they're drinking their water. So um, just, you know, be patient and wait um, until they've moved on from that activity and they're, uh, you know, somewhere in the cage where it's going to be easier to pick them up. So looking at my cage, I can tell that this left side of the cage is probably somewhere where it's going to be easier for me to pick up the guinea pigs. Um, this side of the cage there's a lot more going on, they've got their two hidey houses that they can go and hide in, they've got the grid coming down from the top level so it's going to be tricky to kind of reach behind there. Um, so overall if I were going to try and pick them up I think I'd try and usher them into this side of the cage where it's a lot more open and there's not as many places where they can hide. However things aren't always straightforward and easy. I want to pick up uh, one of my guinea pigs now and they're not over in the side of the cage um, so my options are um, I could try and pick them up um, where they are now or I could try and kind of usher them over. 
and it really doesn't take, you really don't even need to touch them to kind of encourage them to move away from where they are now. I'm going to feel really bad because Annie has just settled down to have a little snooze and she is the one I was going to go for. <laughs> so we'll go for Sprite. Um, Basically, if they're in a hidey hut and you want them to kind of, you want to encourage them out, um, what you can do is just lift up the hidey hut or you can kind of put your hand in and kind of encourage them to come out from behind. There we go. So I've kind of just ushered Sprite over to this side of the cage where the chances are she's going to be much easier to catch and I'm going to stop her from running back over by just keeping my hand here. And yeah, she's probably going to go upstairs. <laughs> so that was like one of her escape routes that she went for. Um, and with guinea pigs, um, you'll find that they'll off always run for wherever they're going to feel more safe and more secure. So uh, I'd blocked Sprite off from going back to where she was before. So um, her other option was to escape up onto the top level where she could then go through the tunnel. So I'm going to kind of usher her back down to the place that I was talking about um, over here where it's more easy for me to pick her up. And I'm going to have to be quick to stop her going back over to this side of the cage. Ideally I want to kind of make her jump into one of the hay boxes. Come on. There we go. So as you can see, I didn't really need to touch her at all. Um, it's amazing how um, they do respond to just the fact that your hand's there and they kind of avoid it because they know <laughs> that it's going to be coming and picking them up. So you really don't need to kind of scare them too much um, if you're trying to usher them to a part of the cage where it's easier to pick them up. Um, and again, it's something that does take practice. Um, I'm obviously... Um, know my guinea pigs really well so I can predict which way they're going to move um, and now if I'm going to pick Sprite up here I'm going to kind of go in, I'm going to talk to her, I'm going to perhaps stroke her on the head first um, so that kind of calms her down a bit and then I'm just going to grab her with both hands um, hopefully in a nice secure way so that she can't um, jump out of my hands or do anything that might harm her. Hello piggy! Hey! One then. I always put one hand in front like this and then use the other one to reach round the back. There we go. So she's a, she's really comfortable with that. I didn't um, do anything to ha harm her at all and she's quite relaxed apart from struggling now. <laughs> so we'll pop her back in and now I will give an example of if they are at the other side of the cave. So as you can see, Sprite is back in her hidey hut. I'm not going to dis disturb Annie because she's fast asleep and she'll probably won't even wake up. <laughs> when she's in a relaxed mood, um, she generally is quite easy to pick up. So Sprite's been a bit more alert and I'm going to try and usher her to a place where I can pick her up easier, which is probably kind of around here somewhere where I can block her escape routes off, I can stop her from going behind the grid here and I can stop her from running out towards the camera. Again, she's gone in the Heidi house, so um, I'm going to have to kind of tempt her out of that. <laughs> she's looking a bit sleepy. Come on, pig. I'm sorry, I keep annoying you. Come on. You really don't want to come out of there, do you? Okay, so she's out and she's actually run into the other Heidi, which is probably something that a lot of you will experience. <laughs> so one thing you could do is actually take out the Heidis altogether. Um, but um, I kind of like to leave them in. Um, it kind of helps you practice a bit more um, at picking them up when they've got different places to run to. And it just helps you get used to predicting which way they're going to go. So again, I'm going to lift up this Heidi and then try and stop her from running into this Heidi. And I'll probably pin her into that corner and get her there. There we go. <laughs> you a good girl. 
So I know I make it look really easy, um, but it really is just practice. Um, and obviously when your guinea pigs are a bit older, they're not as fast maybe as little young ones. So it, that does help. Um, maybe in the future when I've got some young piggies, I will do another video on picking up baby guinea pigs. Because <laughs> that can be more tricky. So one of the op other options that's available to us is to use a prop to pick them up and this is often what lots of people with younger piggies find really useful um, because they don't have to, you don't actually have to pick them up with your bare hands um, there's a much less chance of them um, jumping out of your arms for example so a prop can be any kind of cosy item or it can be like a, a fleece blanket or something um, I know people have found it really easy to use cosy sacks um, or like tea cosies or even like an old beanie hat or something somewhere that they'll run into because um, they'll likely feel safe and secure in there but then you can just scoop them up and lift them into the air quite easily for me I like to use beds, um, so Annie in her bed at the moment um, I might be able to pick her up quite easily. I will also show me picking up Sprite, kind of usher her, ushering her into that bed next door and picking her up as well. So first we'll go for Annie. I'm sorry to disturb you piggy. <laughs> there we go. So I knew she'd be quite easy to pick up as she was kind of half asleep. But that's the kind of basic idea, you can pick them up inside the cosy item so they don't really feel um, too um, scared or frightened. I'll pop your back. And now <laughs> I'll try and usher Sprite into the other bed and we can try and pick her up using the bed as a prop. Come on. Uh -uh. In there. Uh, uh, go on. There we go. So that method worked quite well with Sprite as well. Um, as you can see again, I was just using my hands, I wasn't touching her, so she wasn't inclined to run off really fast. Um, just using my hands to kind of usher her, persuade her um, where I wanted her to go. Oh. <laughs> So what you can also do with cosy items like uh, cosy sacks is actually if the guinea pig is in a, inside a hidey you could put it um, to the entrance of the hidey hut so um, when they want to run out they just um, run into the cosy sack without even realising and then they can be really easy to pick up. So I hope this video gave you some good tips and advice and something to think about when you're picking up your own guinea pigs. I know um, I do make it look very easy but again I just have to stress that of course I'm really well practiced at this, I've owned my guinea pigs for years um, and also the fact that they are quite tame and they are older piggies as well means that they can't escape quite as quickly as um, young guinea pigs um, but my advice to anyone with um, baby guinea pigs is that um, just practice um, take it slowly, be patient with them and eventually you know they will be tame. Um, it is good to use the prop method but they can also get used to um, being picked up in a cosy sack and then avoid going in there and run off somewhere else completely. So don't be entirely consistent with whatever method you use um, because they will learn that um, a cosy sack for example is starting to mean a bad thing because they don't like being picked up. So kind of Practice, interchange different methods, find out what works best for you. And of course there's tons of help out there for anyone who is a new owner and um, it's kind of getting their head around taming the guinea pig and picking them up. There's loads of help available on any of the guinea pig forums. Um, loads of YouTube videos are really good, give really good advice. And you can also message me, ask me questions, post comments on the video below. I find it really useful when other people reply to comments because it's always really good to kind of share ideas around and help others. So I hope this video has been useful. Um, please comment, rate and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. We're going to put a hand there and here and then we're going to pick her up. Oh there we go. <laughs> so that was very easy, she was actually being very relaxed there so um, she didn't really even have chance to think about running anywhere. <laughs> Lock this side, I'm going to come round here, there she goes.
and we're gonna pick her up. Oh. So as you can see, Sprite was a bit more skittish then, um, but I managed her to block her into that corner so she wasn't able to get away and I was able to pick her up quite quickly. 